Almost every film released has some amount of VFX, and with an average of 700 films released a year in the US alone, that's a lot of VFX work by a lot of VFX houses. With so much being released each year, it can be hard to separate the wheat from the chaff. So with that in mind, we've picked out some of the best from one of the biggest VFX houses, Industrial Light and Magic. Almost every frame of this film involved CG characters, environments, or creatures, meaning ILM's workload was almost as big as the 25-story high robots they had to create. CG battleships, explosions, and complex fire and water simulations all mesh together in a film that is proof that great VFX doesn't guarantee box office success. ILM's photoreal monochrome CG animals and their enclosures helped Mank win a VESS award for outstanding supporting visual effects in a photoreal feature. Over 90 minutes of screen time and nearly 900 shots packed full of Easter eggs and references earned Ready Player One an Academy Award nomination for Best Achievement in Visual Effects. Outstanding VFX work and ingenious inventions, like the ILM Stagecraft LED wall that not only won various VESS awards, but also quite possibly changed the future of the VFX industry. ILM worked its magic again on Doctor Strange with mind-bending and building-bending the effect, gaining it both a BAFTA and Academy Award nomination for visual effects. Incredibly difficult work, lighting the CG robots to match the bright on-location daylight, ILM had to pay special attention to the quantity and quality of the light, its tone and direction, and the tones and directions of any reflected lights also. Forget about the Kraken itself, ILM had to do a tremendous amount of complex water simulation for the Maelstrom battle scene, approximately 15 billion gallons. One technique they used was to simulate the Maelstrom as though it were flat, because it was the surface that mattered. They then perturbed gravity, making it point inward, deforming the surface as a post-process. Using this method and parallelism across 40 processes, rendering times were cut from several weeks down to just a few days. Ha! <laughs> 
Hurricanes, battle scenes, shield headquarters and superpowers, ILM had to create VFX that were out of this world whilst still remaining very much in this world. Superheroes, superpowers, super battles with super explosions. This film needed 2,900 VFX shots that were supplied by various different VFX houses. Although ILM didn't receive any awards for their work, they were nominated for a BAFTA, a VES award and an Academy Award. thousand VFX shots, alien worlds, CG creatures, space battles, and extensive motion capture work for the Supreme Leader Snork using ILM's performance capture system that can play back live facial and body animation in real time. This shot was called the tie-in shot because in one continuous long shot, ILM used four different CG New York locations where each of the Avengers were fighting and then had to tie them together as Iron Man flew from one to the other. For their work on this shot and the rest of the film, ILM won an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. ILM got to reinvent Jurassic Park in the fourth film in the saga, Jurassic World. In this film, there were new dinosaurs, a new park, new visitors, but unfortunately, the same disastrous outcome. ILM built San Francisco in the year 2259, the Nibirans, and a volcano, amongst other things, receiving two VES nominations, as well as both a BAFTA and an Academy Award nomination. ILM continued to weave its magic in the rise of Skywalker, resurrecting Princess Leia, creating creatures and characters, and developing a new water solver and toolkit to be able to direct and control the waves. ILM created a new Kong for this film, 100 foot tall, less like a gorilla and more human-like, powerful and yet intelligent with complex fur matting and groom, incredibly detailed and photorealistic. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget the links to the music used in this video are in the video description. And as always, be sure to let us know in the comments which movie VFX you'd like to see behind next.